The cargo operations manuals cover the complete spectrum of cargo operations uh, and all the work instructions and procedures that individuals need to follow to do their daily work efficiently. The publications that fall under the cargo operations portfolio are the ULDR, so the ULD regulations, the uh, IATA Cargo Handling Manual, ICHM, and the Compassionate Transportation Manual, the CTM. The manuals are used by everyone involved in air cargo, and they make sure that people who are in frontline operations as well as in supporting roles have all the information they need to handle cargo safely and efficiently. It's really important to get the new and updated ULD regulations every time they come out. They contain technical changes on how ULDs are built and how they should therefore be handled. And that ensures that we can have a safe ULD operational chain throughout its life cycle. It comes in a print edition as well as an electronic version. And so really there's a really efficient way of getting it into your operation, be that frontline or a support function. In relation to COVID-19 and the pandemic situation, all of the manuals and their procedures and work instructions were adapted to the situation particularly in the case of ULDs where we might have had long-term storage. In the case of cargo handling, we have added some specific information on biosafety and biohazards and how to maintain safe distances while performing an efficient operation. The ULDR can be used as a frontline tool as well as a support tool to um, ensure that the operator understands their responsibilities as well as other parties for training, for security, for health and safety. It contains all the technical limitations for the manufacturing of ULDs as well as their use, how to identify them, how to document and message to ensure that we know where ULDs are and in whose hands they are, as well as the handling section, which ties in very closely with the IATA cargo handling manual. So coming into the ULDR in 2021, we have some clarification on when to use TSO certified cargo straps to safely restrain cargo. We have some updates on aircraft contour drawings to make sure that they're as accurate as possible. We've actually deleted a number of obsolete ULD codes. So that means that the, the manual is more up to date with the codes and ULDs that are actually used. And we made a number of operational efficiency improvements, such as using aircraft pallet nets uh, to restrain aircraft engines. We've added a number of components to the ULD operational damage limits notice, like the container components to make sure that we use that effectively and have safe and airworthy ULDs. So the IATA Cargo Handling Manual is a complete set of work instructions that follows the Industry Master Operating Plan, or MOP. It starts right at the beginning of booking and planning shipments all the way through to the carrier or ground handler's warehouse. How to effectively accept shipments is ready for carriage and prepare them for transport, build up and break down procedures, all the training requirements, and all of that focused on the digitally supported processes. Uh, importantly, it also contains the cargo-specific service level agreement and standard ground handling agreement. And the digital version actually contains a gap analysis um, toolkit to assist carriers in implementing and aligning their procedures to the cargo handling manual. Uh, it also contains the smart facility standards, which standardizes the audit requirements for cargo facilities and decreases audit complexity and redundancies. Updates to the IATA Cargo Handling Manual in 2021 include the clarification of some of the measurements in the cargo recommended service level agreement, the addition of a special handling code that was new for um, specifically COVID-19 and the pandemic situation when we have cargo in the cabin. We've included biosafety and biohazard poster to help people maintain safe distance while being efficient and amendments of some of the events and definitions and terminology from the master operating plan. So you can visit IATA.org to take a look at the publications, what's contained in them and what's new and changing in 2021 so that you can get the latest up-to-date regulations.